the world was made by him. Oh, man. I thank God that tonight I'm Jesus only. Yeah. Man. Another two and ten says, have we not only one Father, yeah. have not one God yeah. who yeah. us. Yeah. But I thank God that I come to a full knowledge yeah. of who he is. Yeah. Man. Yes, he came to humanity as the Son, but he always was the Father. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Now those are in YouTube land, I'm going to give you time to think about that for a while. Right. Then call me. We still don't have understanding. Yeah. Wonderful panel tonight. Yeah. Wonderful discussion. I say to the YouTube viewers, uh, get your notepad, your King James Bible, and go along with us. Uh, this gospel will save your soul if you have the humility of heart to accept correct guidance and correct teaching. Today we are overloaded with many who call themselves Christian. But God never had many churches. He had one church. Now he got the different branches, but it ain't but one church. And we got to speak the same thing. And you can't speak the same thing when you got a Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, uh, Jehovah Witness, and all of that. There's only one church, and that church was established on the day of Pentecost. So I say that uh, preacher in Philadelphia, if we call ourselves Pentecostal, don't worry about it. We uh, follow the Apostles' doctrine as established by the Apostle Peter, whom, if you recall, uh, preacher, God gave the keys to the kingdom. Now, a key symbolically unlocked something. What was he unlocking? Gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And he told the people and asked what to do to be saved. He said, repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ for remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Holy Ghost is a gift from God. Right. It don't come from no man. Amen. It don't come from somebody hollering in somebody's ear. Right. It's a gift from God. Right. And can't nobody give that gift but God, because that's his eternal spirit come and dwell inside. All these wicked churches teaching this, that, and the other. But how many really want to follow the word of truth? Now, those who claim to follow the whole truth, why don't you wear a bell covering? It's Bible. Oh, Lord. Matter of fact, Paul went on to Father's estate that if you uh, in public without a bell, you can't do that. You are, uh, what they call it? Uh, you are a person who's unworthy. Yeah. But if you're in church without a veil, you can't even think about that. That's, right. <laughs> God, that's unthinkable. Now again, hat is spelled H-A-T. Veil right. is spelled B-E-I-L. Right. Now there's a difference between a veil and a hat. Right. Or the dictionary would describe such. If you got a hat, don't tell me you got a veil. All right. All right. But it's a covering. I go along with that. But if you do your research like you're supposed to to study to prove yourself a workman under God, you need not to be ashamed. Rather, you divide the word of truth, which means to properly interpret the Holy Bible. Right. You will find that the Bible never did say covered. Right. There's an English rendition. The Hebrew original trans, trans, uh, translation was veiled. Right. Greek translation was veiled. Right. And even in the English language original translation, the King James Bible, in parentheses, it said veiled. Right. So I want to know uh, where you stand with the veil covering. Right. And also I want to know where you stand with women in the ministry. Come on. Let them remain silent in the church. Silence means without sound. Don't take my word for it. Get your dictionary and look it up. Without sound. But in your choir, you got women sing singing. But you say they can't preach. Where's your text? Well, remain silent in the church. Well, don't that go for... No, it said, oh, I'm sorry, preacher. It said, except they sing in the choir. But that's your Bible. That's not the King James Bible. It says Simon. 
So you uh, go on and keep throwing stones at women called to the ministry. But I'm saying, if you're going to obey the whole truth, then why don't you follow the whole truth? Amen. See, it's different. And another thing, the Bible says you're not to make a baldness on your head. That's right. Sometimes I see you got some hair growing there, and then the next thing I look, you bald. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. You're not to make baldness on your head. Yep. Now you can't wash your head bald. <laughs> Bible says not to make no cutting on the flesh. You can't make your hair bald by taking nothing but that razor. Right. I don't care if it's electric or whether you have to get some soap and put on there. Yeah. It's still a razor. Right. You're still making a cutting on your flesh. Yes. And then you take the nerve to have you a mustache. Yes. You're going to decorate your face. Yes. What's a mustache for? Mm -hmm. It's a form of decoration. Yes. If you want to shave the face, shave all of it. All right, don't do a little part. <laughs> Praise God. So, again, if we're going to teach the whole truth, let's teach the whole truth. Otherwise, let's teach, uh, teach truth as you know it. Then when you run out of gas, come to me. I'm the gas station. I'll fill your tank up. If you got to have humility. you got to have humility in this race. And I wish you'd watch this uh, panel tonight because it's all about humility. We are a blessed church. Because we don't covet money. We just say, bring the money to the storehouse. That there might be me in my house, saith the Lord. And prove me here with it, while I not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. There should not be room enough for you to receive. And look at that blessing that God has poured out to us. Friday night? Where we at? Hallelujah. 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 Hall and really the troubles of this world. We are a separated people unto God. And we serve him and him alone. And God will provide for us. He says so. And he'll do just that. We're not waiting on the Lord for a blessing. We're already blessed. Now we're on the way. And thank you, Lord, for what I have now. Thank you most of all for salvation. And for the divine knowledge and be able to call you by your name. That's a wonderful thing, church, to really know who you serve yes. and what you are about. Yes. We're all about Jesus right. and Jesus only. Right. Many would like to be like us. I reminded of the post office incident, <laughs> and I hope she's still watching us. All right. Well, you, you're on your way, but you got to take the next step. All right. That's to come in. And submit your body in a humble fashion and be taught all the word of truth, not just part of it, yes. but all the word of truth. Yes. And I'm talking the whole truth from the Bible, not the whole truth from a man. Amen. Man ain't got the whole truth. Bible got the whole truth and all of the truth. But only a few has been singled out to teach it from a leadership perspective. And uh, I'm not ashamed to say that I am he. Amen. My testimony. Yes. Called at seven years of age, I found favor. Yes. 91 years old, six heart attacks later, mm -hmm. prostate condition later, All right. Lord. diabetes later, high blood pressure later, yes. stomach conditions later. Yes. No doctor. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Only surgeon saved me to Jesus. And he did a delicate operation on me. And you do the same for you. You walk by faith and not by sight. And that's just not a saying. We walk by the belief in God's word. And not necessarily uh, seeing the reality right now. But as I said a few weeks ago, and I'll say again, 
If God say you are healed, you are healed. Yes. Don't look at that condition. Because the condition is temporary. Yes. He said you healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. My pastor taught me that years ago. All right, I'm still standing by it. If I leave tomorrow, I still got the victory. That's right, The devil can't take my testimony. That's right. And I know I ain't going to get forever. I told grandkids the other day, I said, I'm 91. I'm not going to be here always. I got enough rationale since to know that. You got to give up the ghost one day. You're going to lay down and die one day. But it's where you die in Christ Jesus this time. And I'm on my way to heaven right now. And so blessed. Right. We got a we got a wonderful panel tonight. Uh, Elder Wagner, Elder Brooks, Elder Kenya, Evangelist Shiloh, Moderator Elder Smiley, Summary, Minister Green. Final words. Uh, Deacon Joshua have the final words. Amen. In, in that order. Amen. Amen. Lord, Amen. Lord, Amen. Lord, Lord, thank you, thank you, man. Thank God for another day and holiness. Yeah, thank God for uh, powerful words going forth from prophet. And thank God for being all by himself. Um, to get my other God who's all going to finish up my faith. This is the one true God of both Testaments. Hallelujah. And just like prophet brought out, I am Jesus only. Amen. Right. Amen. Thank God for being God. Amen. Right. Give that one of the God's true prophet, Bishop Prophet Ace Walker. Just like lady Mother Walker, that one of Amen. Been overworthy of it. And God for all the preachers in the household of faith. Thank God for the, the preachers that will all speak tonight. Amen. And uh, thank God for you that are watching. We, you are definitely blessed, yes. amen. Yes. And I pray that that you, like Prophet brought out earlier, that you have your King James Bible and you have something to write on and something to write with, yes. amen. Yes. As we get into the meat of the word, uh, Romans uh, for our main uh, text, Romans the tenth chapter, um, verse four, yeah, verse fourteen, ten to fourteen. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Mm -hmm. And how shall they hear without a preacher? That's deep. I really like that scripture. Uh, Acts the, for our uh, subtext, Acts the 20th chapter. Acts 20 and 27. The word reads, For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. And we're going to our reading text, which is Acts, the eighth chapter, mm -hmm. 29 through 31. And the word reads, Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to the chariot. And Philip ran uh, thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? 31. And he said, How can I except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Amen. And our, our reading text, uh, our, our lesson focus, right. um, importance of seeking God and his eternal kingdom. Yes. Importance of humility to accept proper instructions. The Ethiopian was willing to accept divine guidance. And we will start with uh, Presiding Elder Wagner. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I'd like to say praise the Lord to everyone. Praise Lord. And I give honor to Jesus Christ, the great God of glory, and double honor to his great Amen. prophet. Amen. 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 Prophet Bishop Peter Walker. Amen. Amen. Beautiful young lady. Uh, Mother Walker, bless God Amen. for her and her great contribution to the True Holiness Church. And yes. Thank you all for... Um, uh, being a participant in listening and watching us this evening because we have some great word that goes forth and we want to uh, let you know that the uh, lesson focus of this panel tonight has to do with the importance of seeking God and his eternal kingdom, importance of humility to accept proper instructions and uh, you know it's a very important to understand that there's many people out here today who uh, go to church mm -hmm. but God is coming back for a church, not churches. All right, all right. And those who truly are seeking God will desire to be taught as the Ethiopian eunuch was taught because the Bible really 
without a doubt teaches us that that Ethiopian, Ethiopian eunuch was truly seeking God or seeking heaven, seeking God's kingdom. Amen. He was sincere. And God is not going to turn anybody down who is sincere in their heart for seeking him. And you're looking at a person right now who earlier in his life didn't know God, didn't want God. But at some point, my mother told me, she said, you know what? When you really humble your heart and desire to seek God, that's when you'll find it. And we both didn't know anything about Prophet Bishop H. Walker at that time, but we had a spark of righteousness. And God saw that. Let me tell you something. Anybody who's seeking God with their whole heart, just as Cornelius was seeking God with his whole heart, giving his alms and prayers, didn't know this great God, but he, he wanted God so bad, and God just couldn't turn him loose. Anybody who wants to be saved, God will save you if you come to him sincerely. Amen. Right. Be for real. Amen. Leave the false churches. Lying preachers, devils, that's what they are. We're going to call them what they are. We're not playing because God is not playing and the devil is not playing. We want you to be encouraged tonight. Listen to these preachers. This is the prophet Bishop H. Walker, and you're going to be all right. Amen. Like I said, praise the Lord, son. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless and worthy and praise. We come and lift this great God whose name is Jesus. The God of both testaments. Give him all the praise, honor, and glory for he is worthy of it. All honor and double honor one Prophet H. Walker, a person like Mother Walker, a true man and a woman guy indeed. The Bible says it's even very highly for our labor's sake. Honor to the hierarchy, honor to honor is due. Also to the loving memory of our beloved Mother Smith. Amen. Let's give Prophet a powerful hand for them very strong, powerful words of wisdom. Let's jump right into it. Main text, Romans 10 and 14. How shall they call on him and whom they have not believed, mm -hmm. how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? How shall they hear what well, I preach? Let me break this down. How shall they call on him? Who? God, who his real name is Jesus, mm -hmm. whom they have not believed. And how shall they believe in him if you're not taught by the man of God, how you gonna know about God and who he is? 98% of so-called Christendom or Christianity are Trinitarians. Yes. You go to church every Sunday or Wednesday or whatever, you don't know who your Heavenly Father is. Right. I thank God, through the man of God, that I know that Jesus is God. Manifest in the flesh. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know who my Heavenly Father is. When I get in trouble, I'll say, oh, oh, Father, so Holy Ghost, help me. No, I say, Jesus, help me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You got to know who your Heavenly Father is. You got to know who the God you serve is. Hallelujah. Father, Son, Holy Ghost are titles. His revealed name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Go in deeper. The Hebrew text, Yeshua, Jehovah, and the office of Samuel. Praise God. And how should they know without a preacher? God never sent his word without a spiritual leader. Search the scriptures. When he sent Moses. The Hebrew, the original chosen. He sent Moses, and so on and so forth. In this dispensation of time, God sent Prophet Walker. And we are his understudies, praise God. Hallelujah. Just like Prophet humbled himself and self under the late great elder Jesse Ross, we got to do the like in like manner. Now, when Prophet teaches us, it's to teach you out in YouTube land or maybe uh, at Walmart or wherever you go. Wherever you go, the Bible says you let your light shine. That's the testimony itself. And I thank God for the powerful testimony from my dear great sister, Evangelist Rogers. Hallelujah. Then God say, you tell our kingdom for your name's sake. But how will we know that? But I'm a preacher. Praise God. Pray for me as I pray for you. Hallelujah. Hey, praise Lord, that church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God again. Thank God. Amen. Holy Ghost means it ever is tonight. Amen. Thank you. It's about Hallelujah. signs and wonders yes. in the last days. And I like to lift up God, give Thank him all you, praise, honor, and glory. Yes. Jesus Christ, the yes. one true God, the maker of all things, and double and all honor to our great high school apostle, a prophet, 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 and the uh, lesson focuses and importance yes. of seeking God and his eternal kingdom. And that's what it's all about. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. the Bible says, Seek and you shall find, knock, yes. and the door shall be open. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Yes. But that's why 
uh, a lot of people's in the state that they in because they're not truly seeking God. Mm -hmm. Because when you're truly seeking out the God, yes. you will feel Him himself yes. to you. Right. You know, and He's going to send you to a preacher, yes. a spiritual leader, just like He did to us. Oh, right. He sent Amen. us to prophet. Yeah. You know? And He gave us the understanding. Oh, yeah. Here is a glass of ice water. And it goes on to read the importance of humility to accept proper instruction. And that's where. Uh, People really get tied up, you know, because most people don't have humility. You know, they right. want to, um, uh, many of them went, but how many yes. of them were sent, you know? Yeah. <laughs> many of them out there went. Okay. They went in every day. Right. You know, I mean, uh, every day. You know, they, so God right. told me this, God told me to oh, tell you this, oh, God man. told me that God ain't told you to tell nobody nothing. Amen. First right. of all, you need to sit up under prophet so you can be taught. Yeah. So you can really go out and tell somebody. Uh -huh. All right. That's the problem. You know, people don't want to be, have humility mm -hmm. and sit down and be taught. Mm -hmm. And that's the first thing. You got to be humble like a child. You know, because when you got pride, that's why they got that makeup of jewelry on. Mm -hmm. You got that pride in them. <laughs> but pride go before fall. And thank right. God for the uh, main text in Romans, the 10th chapter, verse 14. How then shall they call? on him in whom they have not believed and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher and I like to tie that in with Acts the first chapter if verse 1 the former treatises have I made O Theopolis of all that Jesus began both to do and to teach until the day in which he was taken up after the through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. God chooses a spiritual leader. Mm -hmm. You know, not you. You know, it's one thing uh, for many that went, but how many have sent the apostles? God chose all the apostles. Mm -hmm. God chose. Them. Mm -hmm. you know, there ain't nothing you can do. You know, and that's why uh, we use line upon line, precept, precept upon precept. You know, when the apostles were not. Um, uh, one didn't say this, one didn't say that. They all were one accord, yes. you know. Yeah. And that's right. the thing with a spiritual, a true spiritual leader. He gonna be one accord, with, yes. straight one accord with the Word of God. Yeah. Well, so I'm not sure to yeah. to you all the of God. He's gonna give him right. straight. Yeah. Right. He's not gonna try to deviate yeah. from this and deviate right. from this because he yes. worried about offending somebody. The Bible say, blessed day that I'm not offended. Yes. You know, you can't be offended at the word of God if you want to be saved. Uh, all right. <laughs> you know? God, if I need operation, yes. praise God. Do your right. spiritual operation oh, yes. so yes. I can make it to heaven. Right. And that's what it's all about, making it to earth, to glory. Amen. 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 Amen get you on the right path to heaven um, and that's what we're trying to teach people that you have to humble yourself you can't be so prideful and think that where you are right now is where you're going to stay because it's obviously not the right place for you because if you're watching this video you're seeking something and yeah. God is trying to tell you something so allow yourself to listen to what God is trying to tell you and I want to go to our um, our main text in Romans chapter 10 verse 14 mm -hmm. how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard, and how should they hear without a preacher? Yes. You can't possibly be saved if you're not listening to the man of God, a true man of God. I'm not talking about those false preachers. I'm not talking about those people who get in the pulpit every single Sunday and they tell you something that make you feel good for two seconds and then you come back next Sunday and you're still in the same place that you were next Sunday. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about somebody who's going to tell you something, whether you like it or not, whether you know it makes you feel good or not. Sometimes you got to say, ouch. Sometimes you just got to close your mouth. Sometimes you got to just humble yourself and accept what prophet gives you because the man of God, the true man of God, prophet, will teach you what is going to take you to right. heaven, what's going to take yeah. you to that next step. He's not going to sugarcoat it for you. He's going to teach you what you need in order to get to heaven. But how can you possibly get to heaven if you don't believe in God? How can you possibly get to heaven if you haven't heard the true man of God who's trying to teach you something? We're trying to teach you something too. What prophet has taught us, and we're trying to extend that to you. But you can't possibly know the truth, the truth, unless you listen to somebody who's going to teach you the truth. If you sit around and you think that these false preachers are going to teach you something that's going to save your soul, you
You are sadly mistaken. I'm sorry to tell you, but they're not going to teach you something. If they didn't teach you something yesterday, they're not going to change their mind and just teach you something today. They're false creatures. That's what they do. They want you to go to hell, but we want you to go to heaven, okay? We try to teach you something that will save your soul. We try to teach you something that will make you whole. If you have something missing in your life, you need God, okay? God is missing in your life. We're trying to tell you something. If you come to this video, God's trying to show you something. So take heed to his warning because God got something for you. God has a plan for you, but you got to be willing to listen to a plan of God. You got to be willing to, willing to listen to the preacher of God, the man of God. That's what the Ethiopian eunuch has to do. He has to listen to Philip. He couldn't learn by himself. He told Philip. He was honest with Philip and said, how can I know what I'm reading unless somebody teach me? How can you possibly know how to get to heaven unless somebody teach you? How can you possibly have the word of God unless somebody teach you? How can you possibly be on the right track to see God's face in peace unless somebody teach you the truth and bring my truth to the Lord? Y'all better preach. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the word going for We just want to encourage you out there to, to, with all love and humility, that there is a truth out here. Yes. And it's right here. You're watching it. And we, we imply that you come in because there's a judgment day coming. Yes. And uh, whether you like it or not, right. it's coming. Mm -hmm. Everybody, like Prophet said earlier, everybody got to give up the ghost at some point in life. Right? Some is young, some is old, and in between, you got to give up the ghost. I was reminded of the story uh, where uh, Paul was uh, was pretty much uh, in trial, fighting for his life, and King Agrippa said, "Well, thou almost persuaded me to be a, a Christian. You hear the word of truth. Don't don't be almost persuaded to be a Christian. You hear the word of truth. You know they say you don't be almost persuaded me to be a, a, a Christian. You know what that's really saying? That's equivalent to you saying that I almost got the victory over the enemy. Lord. You almost went to heaven. Lord. Don't let truth pass you by. When you hear what's coming forth from prophet and from true light, don't let it slip. You know it's right. Don't let it go almost get the victory. <laughs> get the victory. Amen. Because I know right now. Have a good time, church. Amen. I believe the Bible says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Yes, it is. Yeah, we've been set free because we obey the Word of God. Right. Many of you out there say, well, I love Jesus. How come you're not obedient? Mm -hmm. And what I'm talking about, the, right. the spiritual leaders, not obedient, Amen. as prophet stated. Amen. You say that you are the true spiritual leader, but you don't have the sisters wear a head cover. Mm. According to Paul's Writings in 1 Corinthians 11, 5 and 6. She shall not pray or prophesy with her head uncovered. So we've been taught these things by the great spiritual leader, Prophet Bishop H. Walker. That's why we are favored by God. Don't you want to be in God's favor? Okay. You should be. Yeah. Well, that sickness is going to come. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. Right. And people going to come against you. But if you don't have no blood covering, hallelujah, you don't have no obedience, right. who can you call on? Right. We can call on Jesus because we're obedient. I want to just... Go to the main text again in Romans the and thank God for our great prophet giving us these powerful oh, yes. scriptures Amen. and this lesson focus to give us a direction. Amen. We, we, we're not blind walking the earth. Hallelujah. We got the light of Jesus, so we know where we're going. Hallelujah. That's right. And Romans the the tenth chapter, fourteenth verse, I believe it is. It says, uh, "How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall?" They hear without a preacher. Well, he's not just talking about any preacher. He's talking about the one that he has sent. Mm -hmm. The Bible states that God sends the messengers that he wants his church to have so that they can be perfected. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the true preacher, mm -hmm. Prophet Bishop H. Walker, you are not perfected. Mm -hmm. That means you got something wrong. And if you got something wrong, that means it's not right. If it's not right, God don't want it. He's coming after a holy people. Hallelujah. All right, now also in the book of Acts, the 20th chapter, we'll go there real quick, in the yes. verse 27, yes. we're talking here, uh, Paul, this great preacher of God, says, For I have not shunned to declare unto you all, I like that word, I love it, the counsel of God. So then if you're speaking the same thing Paul is preaching and teaching, then we're still doing what? All. Man, ain't we got a happy God? Well, God looks at you like he smiles, church. Man. When God sees us, the sisterhood with the veil on, according to the Bible, he smiles. When God's, wait a minute, let me show you this real quick. 
And I want to say this because a lot of people, it won't be long, what, how many weeks? I don't know how many is, weeks it is, I haven't looked at it real quick, but there's a Tammuz festival coming up. Y'all call it Christmas. I used to do the same thing. But listen, Paul said, I have not shown to you, declaring to you all the gospel. Right. Do you not know that this festival that you all are getting ready to take part in is something that God has condemned? Mm. It's called idolatry. Yeah. And I'm going to prove it to you really quick. In the book of Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, 4th verse, he said, they deck, wait a minute, let me, let me go back to the third verse, for the custom of the people of vain, for one cut of the tree out of the forest and work with, with the, uh, the work of the hands of the workmen with an axe, right. that's what they do with that Christmas tree, Amen. but watch what he said now, they deck it with silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails and with hammer that it move not. Right. They do what? They go to get a, get a tree out of the forest, now this is in the Old Testament, God said, you my people don't do it. All right. That's the Old Testament. Yeah. Under the Old Covenant. All right. But in the book of Colossians, amen, I believe the book of Colossians, the second chapter, around the eighth verse, he tells you the same thing. Right. Don't be convinced by people to do things that God told you. Don't do. Right. They decorate this tree, and they say, God told me to do it. You can't do nothing for the truth, but by the truth. Yeah. Paul said, I'm not shunned to tell you everything. And idolatry is something you can't be a part in. I would go to it, but I think it's First First Corinthians six and nine. If you as an idolater that's doing idolatry, decorating the Christmas tree and Easter and all this, you will not go to heaven. You, why come your pastor won't tell you that? Ooh, come on, you know why? Because he's a devil and a demon. <laughs> Don't follow no devil and demon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a good time. In the name of the Lord, hallelujah. <laughs> For I'm not sure to declare unto you all the counsel of God. All means in totality. Now let's go to the reading text. It's all about uh, humility, yes. saints. Amen. Without humility, Obedience and discipline, you will never run this race. You're running in vain. Verse 29, Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to the chariot. And Philip ran thither to him, and heard him read the prophet Isaiah, and said, Understand thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I accept some man should guide me? Now that's humility. Mm -hmm. Amen. When Prophet Walker teaches us, I was praying, and my mother, the late Mother Smith, said, who going, man? When, and when I seen him, I said, he remind me of Moses. It was something about this man. I said, I, we got to go check. I got to go see this great man of God. And when I seen him, I said, just something about Prophet Walker. And when I met him in person, just the illumination on this great man of God. Amen. I knew it was something special about Prophet Walker. I know he was a prophet. I know he was a man of God because I was searching. And I thank God that he touched my mother. It's been 24 years and still going. You have to have humility to be taught the word of God. Through Prophet Walker, I learned about the decree of three emperors, 336, the night seeing council, 325, council of Ephesus, 440, about the head cover, about the water baptism, about the Godhead, yes. uh, all, all these things, morals, principalities, all these things. You can't learn that from a false preacher. Amen. That's why they're false. Amen. Because they're not living in the truth. Yeah. All these demons, T.D. Jakes, Joyce Myers, now she got a, a tattoo on her back. Oh. Uh, you a part of the Yakuza or something? <laughs> you a hit man? Right. What's wrong with people? Why would you follow a devil like that? Mm. They can't leave a person across the street. Let's know that. Mm. You must have humility to follow yes. a true man of God. Right. That's why God sent one prophet H. Walker. the 8th chapter and pick up picking up that 29 and it reads then the spirit said unto Philip yes go near and join thyself to the chariot I believe the Bible says that the Holy Ghost the spirit of truth will lead and guide mm -hmm. you in all truth mm -hmm. 
And that's uh, and the spirit had told Philip, uh, let's go to 30, 31. And he yes. said, no, 30. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, understand this, what thou readest. And 31, and he said, how can I accept some man guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. And the Ethiopian eunuch had humility. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the first things, you know, uh, to serving God. You have to humble yourself because yeah. when you don't have humility, you can never be taught, you know, because everything the preacher tells you, <laughs> you looking at it a different. You looking at it from your standpoint instead of God's standpoint. You know, you can't Amen. look at it from a carnal standpoint. You got to look at it from a spiritual yes. standpoint. Mm -hmm. right. You know, and when the Holy Ghost uh, told uh, Philip, you know, he was on fire about it. He right. ran, mm -hmm. you know. Why is the church is not on fire mm -hmm. for the for the Lord Amen. today? You know, this church is packed. You know, especially with the condition that the world is in, people should be running into true holiness. Yes, you know, yeah. Yeah. but for some reason, you know, you know, people want that world. But thank God that God said uh, He always gonna have a people. The gates of hell should right. not prevail against the true church of God. Yes, yes. Amen. you know. God ain't never lost no battle. He ain't never gonna lose no battle. Right. You know. Amen. So, but, but the Bible said, "Well, there are two or more gathered in God's name. God is in the midst. Right. So God is not worried about numerical equations. Right. And just like that Philadelphia, that preacher in Philadelphia mentioned about he preaching all the word of God. Well, how are you yeah. preaching all the word of God when you shaving your head? Right. You know? right. You deflecting from the word of God. Yeah. You know. And you supposed to be." A, 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 a man of God, don't you want to act like a man of God and look like a man of God? Right. You know, but why are you shaving your head? Right. You, you looking like Michael Jordan? You ain't looking like Jesus. All, right. <laughs> all the Hebrew people, the Hebrew men took the vow of a Nazarite, yes. yeah. and all the Hebrew women wore a veil cover. Right. You know, and they didn't have on no hats. You know, so why some of your sister who would have a veil cover and some of them have hats on? Yeah. You know, on. ain't that? Confusion within itself. Yeah, the Bible says that us all speak the same thing, that there be no divisions right. amongst us. Mm -hmm. You know, the church is supposed to be in one accord. Right. You know, that's why he right. have one spiritual leader. Yes. And that one spiritual leader is Prophet Preach. H. Walker oh, yeah. on the seventh of the night. And his testimony yeah. follow him. Yeah. Yeah. And like the preacher brought out, same thing with me and the same thing with what another preacher said. The first time I seen Prophet, oh, yes. I mean very first time, I seen something completely different about oh, yeah. him. Because he's a true man. He's a prophet. Yeah. You know, just like Moses. You know, when he, they looked on Moses and like they yes. some even couldn't even how to look at him because God's glory was so on him. Oh, yeah. And that's the same thing with Prophet. The glory of the Lord is on Prophet. Hallelujah. You know? Hallelujah. And the glory of the Lord is, is on his people. You yes. know, right. but a man of God, you cannot duplicate or replicate him. You can replicate Amen. a man of God, you know. We replicate, but you cannot duplicate a man of God. Right. You can try. You know, but a man of God is a man of God, and prophet is him. Yeah. Amen. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't think I heard what just said. It's so true. You cannot replace prophet. There's only one prophet, and many people can try to fill his shoes, but you know, it's, there's nothing like the one man of God, Prophet Bishop Bishop H. Walker, Amen. not like the man of Philadelphia trying to act like he's prophet. Um, but I want to go to our subtext in Acts chapter 20, verse 27. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. You know, Paul didn't shy away from teaching, you know, the the church of God anything. He didn't, it didn't matter whether it hurt. It didn't matter whether you liked it or didn't like it because that's not really what prophet is here to teach us. Prophet is not here to make sure you like what he teaches you, okay? Prophet's not here to, to make sure you like what he preaches. He's here to tell you the truth. That's the bottom line. It's yeah. up to you to accept that truth. So if you don't like it, then, you know, you gotta pray about it. You gotta ask God, help me like it. Help me stomach it, no matter what it might be. Help me accept the word of God. Help yes. me accept this part that I might not like that much or this part that I have trouble understanding. Help me accept that because that's the only way you'll get to heaven is if you have humility and bow down to the word of God, bow down to the man of God and understand that it's not about what you like. It's not about what you understand, but it's about what God is telling you to do. That's what people, that's what people's problem is. They care too much about what they want. They care too much about what they like. But guess what? God does not care what you want, and God does not care what you like. What he cares about is if you follow the word of God, and if you follow the man of God, and if you have humility to obey the word of God, if you have faith to obey the word of God, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what it feels like. It doesn't matter if it hurts. It's just a fact. You just gotta obey the word of God and stand still on the word of God. And stop crying about the word of God. Stop crying right. if you don't like what prophet got to say, okay? If you don't like what prophet got to say, you can easily turn off the channel. You can easily step out that door. If you don't like it, then it's not meant for you. Right. But it's meant for the people that it's meant for. Like prophet 
Ethiopian eunuch wanted to do. He wanted to go to heaven. I just love this story about the Ethiopian eunuch because yes, he was so right. honest. He was so honest. He told Philip, how can I possibly understand if I don't have somebody to teach me? And that's what you got to be with God. You got to be honest. You got to just let go of whatever it might be that's holding you back and tell God, Lord, I want you so bad. I need you so bad. But I got to get there, okay? And God will show you. He will show you what you need to do. He will show you where you need to go. But you got to let God know that I need somebody to teach me. And we try to teach you right now, okay? You come into the word of God, you come into the church of God, prophet will teach you, okay? This message is for somebody who is really seeking God, somebody who's not playing with God, somebody who's willing to be for real, somebody who is tired and tired of going through whatever they're going through. I pray to the Lord that you come into the church right now and you see what God got for you because I felt the blessing of God. I know what God can do. I know what God can do. I know what God can do for me and I know he can do it for you. Because God is no respect to person. And pray about shit to the Lord. We encourage in you to come in to before it's too late. Stop. Everybody know where profit is. Everybody know his phone number. Just like all the testimonies that come forth tonight. You know, when they first seen profit, you know that he's different. Everybody know that. Amen. It is time to not put things that's important on the back burner. You got to know how to prioritize, <laughs> yes. prioritize your life, yes. and then the things that you want in your life, because there's a day that is going to end, oh, and it's going to be either heaven or hell. Oh, and we encourage you yes. to choose heaven. Yes. And how you choose heaven, you got to do like the Ethiopian did. And he said, "What hindered me to be baptized?" In other words, what What's taking you so long to give me Jesus? I, I, I like like you said, I'm on fire for God. I want I want more God. I want them teachers. I want you to baptize me. I want that Holy Ghost. Amen. What hinders me to be baptized or to be saved? What's hindering me to, to come into that church? What's hindering you to come into the church? There ain't nothing hindering you but the devil trying to fool you. But you can allow the devil to fool you if you want to be unsimple. You got to press your way to the household of faith. You ain't gonna find it nowhere else but you. Like, Amen. Because I know the uh, uh, Praise Lord, everyone. And you know, just pull you back off of uh, what the preachers, great preachers of God, under the study of the great man of God, Prophet Bishop H. Walker. And I just thought about something. You know, really, when you look at this panel and every panel, we all speak the same thing. Amen. Isn't that something? Amen. We're not arguing with one another. We're not trying to outdo each other. We're not trying to be the best. We're doing our best. Amen. To imitate our great prophet. Amen. Man, you listen, you, you need to be here if you want to be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to. Listen, now I want to go to this uh, teaching that prophet gave us concerning this Ethiopian eunuch. In this uh, chapter that we look at here, I believe chapter 8. And something that caught my attention here, in verse 38, uh, it said that, really quick, it said, and, the, and he commanded the chariot to be still. Now that little part there seems little and insignificant, don't it? But when you really are sincere and you want to be saved, everything in your life got to wait, stop. Ooh, come on now. Oh, he commanded the chariot to be still. Yeah. Shut oh, your mouth. <laughs> and even talking to himself, whatever you think, listen. Right. You don't. You can't blame God if you don't make it in. You can't blame the devil if you can, if you don't make it in. You got to blame yourself. Amen. All of you out there who are listening and watching us continually, good. But that's not enough. Amen. You like the preacher brought out. You almost convinced me to be a Christian. I almost ain't good enough, baby. Man. You got to come in one hundred percent. You got to command everything that's in your life that's trying to hinder you, even yourself. Put on a back burner and, 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 and say, "I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but it's Christ who liveth in me. And now the life I live, I live by the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. I'm going. I'm coming through. I'm coming through here, man. I'm coming. I'm on fire." I'm for real. But I just want to say, say this too now. So we're talking about being taught and humbling yourself to be taught. 
uh, I remember in the book of Acts, the 19th chapter, when uh, the preacher came to the people and asked, have you seen the Holy Ghost since you believed? They said, we ain't even heard of no Holy Ghost. But to make a long story short, he told them about the water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. And guess what they did? They humbled themselves and got rebaptized. Amen. That's important. Because humility is what we're talking about. The Ethiopian eunuch was, he was in humility. And I got this stuff. That, let me tell you something. Do you, I'm going to share this with you real quick. This Pope called Pope Francis. All right? Now his net worth is $25 million. His annual salary is $1 million. Are you serious? Yes, you are serious. And um, he's a Jesuit. The Order of uh, Society of Jesus, so they say. And all this. Uh, he's a demonic leader. And, but first of all, there's no such thing as a Pope. Matthew 23 and 9 says, But call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. Right? Mm -hmm. And the, the Catholic Church can't bless anybody. They're not blessed themselves. First Peter 2 and 14, the end of that verse, that verse. Listen, get your King James Bible, read this right along with us. It says that they are cursed children. And there's no such thing. That, this is what he said. He said we ought to be blessing same-sex marriages. And I told you, there's no such thing, such thing as same-sex marriages. Mm. Ain't how same-sex? Se okay, anyway, uh, the Bible e go, even goes far as saying to kill them. Leviticus 20 and 15 and Romans 1 and 33. It even said if you agree with that lifestyle, you deserve death also. Now, if your preacher's not teaching this, then he must be of the devil. But you're watching us because you know something right is about the great prophet. You know that the prophet Walker is the right prophet. He's the right spiritual leader. And I wonder now what's hindering you to coming in. You got to answer that question. Lastly, I remember I was living in Flint and I was seeking after somebody telling me about this Christmas stuff. I heard prophet on the radio talking about Christmas and he told me the truth about it. Been here ever since. But one thing that he said to me on a track that I got from him, it said, what are you going to do about it now? Ooh, come on. All right. Amen. 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 That's deep in it. Yes. You've been wondering somebody to show you about the truth, and here's true light, you're watching us, what you going to do about it now? Amen. All right. Amen. Let's get on the right time in the name of the Lord. Right. I want to read the rest of this. The importance of seeking God and his eternal kingdom, the importance of humility and self-proper instructions. The, e the Ethiopian searched for heaven and was willing to accept divine guidance. Now, in the reading text, a couple of things I want to point out. He was preaching to him out of Isaiah, the 53rd chapter. All right. Come on. And the Bible said he preached to him Jesus. All right. and, and nowhere in that text did it mention water baptism. But if you use line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, here a little, there a little, he must have mentioned something about water baptism. Because there's a preacher brought out, what hindering me from being baptized? Well, come on, make haste. Amen. Dunk my head, dunk my body in the water, praise God. Right. Hallelujah. Right. So that's why we wouldn't know this if we haven't had a true teacher. Yes. Amen. And, and, and let me say this, to those who left the church, come back. What's hindering you Amen. from coming back? Somebody on YouTube been praying for God, praying to God for a true man of God. What's hindering you from coming in? Yes, right. goodness. Put away the, the, the filth of the flesh. Put away the crack pipe, the 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 the, the lesbian spirit, yes. sodomite spirit. Yes. Paul right. says, "Such was some of you." God don't hear us in the prayer, but if you're seeking God, He'll hear our prayer. Yes. Then you can come get baptized in Jesus' name, and then God will. He will forgive all those sins. Amen. But if we have a true man of God, we will never know those things. Amen. What hindered you from being saved? That man wanted heaven. I wanted heaven. Yes. We wanted heaven. Yes. Probably want heaven. Amen. Moses wanted heaven. Yes. Paul wanted heaven. Amen. Timothy wanted heaven. Yes. All the apostles wanted heaven. Because yes. he died. Now we're seeing the promise. Hallelujah. Right. When we have that same spirit right. one day, when we give up the ghost, yes. hallelujah, yes. we're going to have that same testimony. I want to have a testimony like Enoch. Hallelujah. He pleased right. the Lord. Hallelujah. When our faith is a problem to please God, yes. hallelujah, yes. we must believe on God. Great. We must believe on the man of God. We must right. believe in the word of God. Yes. Can we get the word of God? So, yes. 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 Yes.
In the beginning was the word, the word was God, and the word was God. Hallelujah. You can't, you can't separate the two. Hallelujah. That's like trying to separate an egg from the yolk. You can't do it. Praise God. You got to take it all. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Pray for me as I pray for you. Yes. And I believe, like Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Because yes. You cannot follow Christ without following the spiritual leader. Amen. 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 That's why, you know, Apostle you, Paul Jesus. gave that teaching. He That's said, right. now I praise you, brother, yes. to remember me in all things. You know, you have to remember what you've been taught, you know. Yeah. And thank yes. God, like the scriptures say, bless are the pure in heart. You know, somebody that's sincere, somebody for for real. And the Ethiopian proved that he was for real. He wasn't yeah. playing no game. He wasn't yeah. playing no game. He was literally trying to be saved. He was. Yeah. And he asked uh, uh, Philip, you know, what hinders me from being water baptized? Yes. You know, yeah. it's water, you know. And and we, like Prophet mentioned all the time, we got clothes. We got water. What's right. wrong with you coming in to like get water baptized? And you yeah. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. And you will never be the same. I believe the the Bible said the promise is unto you, to your children, and, and to and many as are far off. So anybody can be saved that have a mind and heart to be saved. But mm -hmm. the problem is people don't want to be saved. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and anytime you don't want to be saved, you don't want heaven, you don't want God, you don't yeah. want his church. All right. All right. Anytime you don't want God, you don't want his church, you don't want his prophet, we don't want to have nothing to do with you. All right. All right. All it's like the Bible says, preach the word being seen in season and out of season. Oh, yes. So whether you you like what we, we're preaching, it's going to go forth. If you don't like it, it's still going to go forth. Amen. The word of God is going to go forth, and it's going to save as many souls that want to be saved. And that's why it's so important for you to be for real. You know, and that's why the false church is so evident today. Yes. You know, it, 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 it like it's heartbreaking that, that you know, Anytime you don't care nothing about your own soul, mm -hmm. you know, like that's why the Bible say, what profit a man, what, what what you done gain, what value you done got right. if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? Right. Amen. Yeah. What, what advantage you got? Yes. You know, so, right. death is coming, sickness is coming, difficult right. times is coming. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, we got to turn the TV on and see the, the, the critical times, the difficult mm -hmm. times. A man want to be a woman and a woman want to be a man and then want to even corrupt the little children, right. you know, and, and abort the little children. You know, well, who's standing up but true light, you know, and, and, and a yeah. few voices, you know. They, that's why we thank God for Donald Trump. Yeah. He got the right. on. He ain't no power. We pray for yeah. Donald Trump. Yeah. We pray for right. all those that want to stand up. Yes. But you got to follow a true man of God. Pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. 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 Verse 30, and Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I accept some men should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with me. And the, the very last part is so important. The Ethiopian wanted Philip to sit with him. The yeah. Ethiopian wanted Philip to teach him. And that is so important. That's what we're trying to impart to you today is that you have to want to be taught. Okay, you have to humble yourself. It's not necessarily going to be easy all the time. It's not just, you're not going to fully understand, you know, everything all the time. But the, you have to have that desire to Man. want God. And, you know, God will give you that, that desire if you really, really want him. And that's exactly what he did for the Ethiopian because God saw something in the Ethiopian. He saw that he wanted God, he saw that he wanted to go to heaven, and that's why God allowed for Philip to be there at that time just for the Ethiopian unit. And God will do the same thing for you. He will allow you to come across the video at the exact time uh, you're out there witnessing. He will allow yeah. you to come across yeah. one of the preachers. He'll allow you to come yeah. across the prophet. Amen. Prophet was testifying about the lady in the post office, and that's exactly what God will do right. for you. And I thank God that when I work, I have people ask me all the time, and oh, yeah. I have a, a, a different job, but people ask me all the time, are you a Christian woman? And you know, God will let people... You, 
God will let you shine your light to people, whether they oh, see yes. you, whether they don't. It can just be how you talk to people, and somebody oh, yes. can be blessed that way. And, Amen. you know, I just thank God for that, that we have this ministry, that we have a way to reach people. We have YouTube for as long as YouTube will have the church of God. Yes. But I thank God that we are able to teach other people because we want you to be saved. That's what we're trying to teach yes. you today, that we Amen. want you to be saved. We're trying to give you the tools that you need to be saved. Though. So as long as you listen to us, as long as you listen to the prophet, as long as you listen to the word of God, because that's all it is. That's what you need. All you got to do is humble yourself. And I promise you, if you humble yourself and you show God, you know what? There's something that I need. There's something I want more than what this life can offer me because the world can't do anything for you. I promise you, the devil cannot Amen. do anything for you. But God can do everything for you. But you got to be willing to do everything for God and pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Yes. Minister Green. Praise the Lord again. Give all honor, all praise, all glory to our heavenly Father God is revealed. Name our scripture is Jesus Christ. Our living word and Savior, truly ahead of our lives, so often fit us for our faith. I give double honor, double praise, one prophet, H. Walker. Give honor, praise the entire household of Jesus. Give honor, praise to our beloved Mother Smith. Give honor, praise my beautiful, blessed wife and holiness. So honor, praise, where honor, praise is due. Again, I'd like to thank God for bringing myself and each and every one of my brothers and sisters out of the darkness and those marvelous light, bringing us to a true double Lord, prophet of the Lord. He yes. brought us up the mountain with him to teach us God's ways. Hallelujah. According to scriptures, Isaiah 2 and 3 says, Many people shall go and say, Let us go up to the Lord, to the house of God. He will teach us his ways. That's exactly what Prophet H. Walker has done for each and every one of us. We love you so very much for our prophet. We love you more than anything, Lord Jesus, for, for allowing us to be here tonight and accepting us. Well, we pray that we never let you down again as we've done so very many times in times past. We pray that we walk with a renewed mind and a renewed spirit as we walk for your glory every day. Uh, let's give a hand to the powerful panel tonight. You know they were on fire tonight. You can thus say it the Lord and thus say it the Lord only. You know it's truly a blessing to be here and be a part of the Acts 2, 238 church. Uh, you know, serving under Prophet H. Walker. He is truly the man of God. And uh, we love him yes. so very dearly, you yes. know, and we stand firm on everything that he says because it is the truth. Uh, you know, uh, our, uh, our main text tonight was on Romans 10 and 14, subtext Acts 20 and 27. The reading text was 8, 28 through 31. You know, our lesson focus was on the importance of seeking God and his eternal kingdom, the importance of humility to accept proper instructions, the Ethiopian searched for heaven and was willing to accept divine guidance. And that's what each and every one of us are trying to do. You know, we accept the divine guidance. Yes. We accept what the prophet is teaching us. Uh, you know, the only way to get to heaven is to humble your heart and seek after God. You have to first humble yourself. Amen. You have to humble like a child, like a newborn child. You know, you have to, like, like you've never heard anything else before. You have to forget everything in your past accept everything in, the, in this doctrine for it is all true and the only way to get to heaven is by following your roadmap. Uh, so you know forget everything else you've ever learned forget these false teachers and false preachers and humble yourself the main thing is humble yourself you know God chooses who he wants to speak to and teach his words to you know that's a humble man and a humble woman he chooses to speak to us and we're truly grateful for it um, you have to be willing to listen to the Word of God and obey what you learn. Don't hesitate to obey, lest said the Lord. For yes. well, all of God's Word is true. You have to have humility in order to run this race, and not just run the race, but to finish this race. Right. Right. You know, right. The only one that can remove your shackles from Satan is Jesus Christ. Yeah. So to have your shackles removed, you have to first proclaim your love for God and sincerely ultimately repent from all your sins truly god knows if you're being false god knows if you're being fake and god knows if you're being for real and each and every one of us here too late like being for real so you know in romans 10 and 14 the apostle paul is showing you that jesus christ is the lord the only lord that you must call upon to to be saved from your sins uh, if you ever want to see your riches in heaven god jesus is the only one that can give them to you so uh, you know the the main thing about today is the humility. Humble yourself, come into True Light, and, and, and be part of uh, Prophet H. Walker's teachings. Um, you know, uh, as, as we've been showing in Acts 8 and 28, you know, 
Philip's ministry, it shows us that God doesn't care if someone is born into his chosen people. He doesn't care about your race. He doesn't care about your theology. He doesn't care about any of that. You know, God's love is equal to those who are obedient to him and desires that everyone will repent and come into his life. God doesn't want anybody left in the darkness. He doesn't want anybody going to hell for an eternity. You know, uh, so that false preacher out there that's telling everybody that, you know, uh, you have to be of a, a, a dark skin or a certain race to be able to make it into heaven, you need to humble yourself, hush your mouth, come to true life, <laughs> sit down, get prayer for Providence Walkers, and listen to Providence Walkers teachings in true light, and then you might have a chance to get it into heaven if you're sincere. So I pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Minister Green, and we thank God for the blessed panel again tonight. Talking about the importance of humility and having the desire to be taught. You cannot be taught unless you humble yourself, yes. not only before prophet, but also before God. Amen. And they also talked about the importance of knowing who God is. Many people today are praying to whatever God, but who is God? We know God is Jesus. Amen. So we thank God for the blessed panel. Um, and also concerning with the desire to be taught, many people don't want to be taught because they've been stuck in, they've been taught a certain way for so long that mm -hmm. they become too hard-headed. And we know that that doesn't lead to anywhere. So we thank God for right. proper right. teaching right. everybody here. Right. Right. Way in the instruction in the Bible, man. So we thank God for the best time of God for the summary, and the opening remarks from the prophet, and how we'll all stand and be dismissed. Yeah. Amen. Amen. May the Lord watch. May the Lord watch. Between me and me. Why are we absent? Why are we absent? One to another. One to another. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.